West Michigan Ave, pretty much across from the mall. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much for having us. Thank you for coming in. We appreciate it. Yes. When you're ready to take that next step in completing the design of your home, stop into Vermeulen's. Did you know you can trust the experts at JTV with your real estate advertising needs? We offer professional photography, aerial photography, and video of your listings. Feature your homes on our property of the day on the Bart Holly Show, or be featured on At Home Jackson. Give us a call at 787-8817 or check us out online, jtv.tv. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning show. Good morning, Andy. Good morning to you. Uh, cloudy day today. We thought we were going to get a lot of rain yesterday, but only two tenths of an inch in Jackson. Further to the north, though, uh, some strong storms knocking out power today. Cloudy and a high of 81. Really, 81. Yeah. You know, it's weird. When I looked at, I saw a high of 77. Hmm. Isn't it weird how the weather's always a little wrong? Mm -hmm. Let's go out to the sky cam, shall we? Tina. Good morning, oh JTV. God, it's Tina. Tina at Hometown Heating. Tina. Today's going to be a mild day, so get that yard work done. Uh, for, for a minute there, I thought Tina was right in front of us. It scared the heck out of me. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, that's our Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More Sky Cam facing west toward California. Should be a pretty decent day. Yeah, it should be nice. It should be just fine. And we've got a lot going on. It's the Food Truck Festival second annual. Uh, there are 20 food trucks at Keeley Park tonight from 4 till 8 p.m. Free admission. You just buy your food. There'll be a ton of picnic tables set up and some things like cornhole and other oh, stuff. Fun. Yeah. Very, very fun. Fun day. Uh, learning Fair today starts and continues Friday at Northwest Elementary School. Uh, fun for the whole family. They'll have 80 different uh, stations, exhibitors, hands-on stuff. And tonight, The Sounds of Summer at Cherry Creek featuring Kay Harper and Cesar Wade. And they'll be showing up at the Glass, Grass Lake Traffic Jam this weekend, Fun. too. Fun. A yeah. lot. Wow. A lot going on. I'll be at the uh, Grass Lake Traffic Jam in 5K Run and Walk. I'll be uh, standing next to the M&K Vector Truck. Mm. Um, should be a great Great time. That's Friday night. The race is Friday night and then music and entertainment all weekend in Grass Lake. And I learned that M and K will be handing out water really at the end of the race. Okay. Yeah. Good. You had confirmation on that. Yes. Just yesterday when I was at the ORS West Ave ribbon cutting and grand opening, it's uh, their biggest clinic on the corner of Wildwood and West behind the Shell. The Shell Station. Yeah. The Johnny's Market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Kitty Corner from the Vacuum Cleaner Hospital. That, yeah. The whole third, uh, whole second floor is uh, ORS. I was so upset that I had to miss this, and I, I'm pretty sure there were some people there that were upset I wasn't there as well. Mm -hmm. um, but it's beautiful. Yeah. That's uh, Aaron Holly, no relation, and Josh Brigette talking about how wonderful everything is. And they had food by Sylvia's Catering. Wonderful. Yes. It's uh, all wide open, but they have individual uh, privacy areas. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. I've talked to a few people that have been doing rehab there for months, and they love the, love the facility. Yeah. And the uh, 
Weights are color coded. There you go. Mm -hmm. The ceilings are high, so you can bounce balls and uh, do deadlifts all the way up above your head. Very good. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Right in the middle of our city here. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, Joey and uh, James were there for the nice. excitement. James had his uh, business after hours social outfit on. Yes. It looked very good. Yes, he was business casual. Yeah, he had a collar on. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. And um, a Red Wings hat. Who doesn't love Detroit sports? <laughs> <laughs> um, you want to hear something funny? Sure. 165 days until Christmas. Oh. Sorry, I know. I do that all the time, don't I? Mm -hmm. And it just ruins everyone's mood. Uh, I'm sorry, I had to do it. Kid Rock back in Michigan this weekend. Two mm. shows at LCA. Is that a show you've ever wanted to see? That's a show I never wanted really? to see. Really? I feel, I, I've never thought about it, but I feel like we owe it to Kid Rock <laughs> to see one of these shows, right? Michigan's own. So I'm thinking at some point, I would like to go to a Kid Rock concert. Brandon, you'd go to a Kid Rock, right? For sure, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. No. I think it would be cool. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you would go to the Doobie Brothers or the Allman Brothers or the Chicago. Right? Yeah, I would go to Chicago. Chicago? Yeah. Eagles? E Eagles, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, the yeah. Eagles. This is their last year. Really? Touring. Yeah, oh, they just announced. That? And Elton John just wrapped up his last year of touring. Speaking of Johns, Lil John <laughs> had to uh, carry the whole set the other night at Mount Pleasant because Pitbull's plane had trouble and he never made the show at Mount, Ple <laughs> at Mount Pleasant. So at 10.15, they're like, wow. sorry, no Pitbull. But Lil John uh, performed for most of the show. So Soaring Eagle, the worst place to see a show. It is. I saw Jessica Simpson in concert there oh, wow. in... 2002 or three, mm -hmm. and it was the uh, the worst concert of my life. Well, it's just not a good venue. I mean, it's a it's a banquet room basically, giant banquet no, room. No, this I, the one I went to was outside. Outside, it was actually nice. I've never been mm -hmm. to an to the banquet room, uh, mm -hmm. the banquet room. Uh, no one won the uh, Powerball last yeah. night. No, that's not true. Joe Barry won four dollars. Oh well, no one won the big jackpot. 875 million is the new jackpot on Saturday, but you know, it's not a record. Do you know what the record, the biggest Powerball jackpot? It was over a billion, right? 2.04 billion. And I think a, uh, someone won that in Las Colinas, California. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, Mega Millions is 560 million or something. Wow, that would Insane. be wonderful, wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, did you see Dick Vitale was diagnosed with uh, vocal cord cancer. That's mm -hmm. his third bout with cancer in the last few years. But you know, you read that vocal cord cancer, and you almost think that can't that can't be true. It's just, I mean, really, Dick Vitale. I know of all. Yeah. I mean, that's what he's known for his voice. Right. Was he on the ESPYS last night? You know, I didn't. I didn't know the ESPYS weren't on until today. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> so for some reason, I didn't. Brandon, did you catch the ESPYS? I didn't even know it was on. See, we didn't know it was on. I don't on. know. Uh, it was on, and LeBron James uh, announced yes. that he is going to play again next year because there were rumors that he would be retired. No. No. Yeah. No. No. He, no, he no. said, uh, the day I can't give the game everything on the floor is the day I'll be done. Lucky for you guys, that day is not today. Lucky. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, LeBron. Appreciate uh, it. Have you gone up north this summer? I have. If you go up north and go to Mackinac Island, do not take your e-bike. Mm. Uh, Mackinac Island Police Department has confiscated. <gasps> oh wow! Has confiscated hundreds of e-bikes. Really? Yes. As everyone in Michigan knows, no motorized vehicles on the island. Not only will you get your e-bike confiscated, but you'll get a hundred and twenty-dollar ticket. So. That's the not problem bad. is, uh, for th those, because of the Americans with Disabilities Act, those that cannot, that have to have a motorized transport, mm -hmm. uh, they can bring the e-bike, but there's a certain limit on the type of e-bike that you can bring on, and um, it's not those scooter kinds. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, don't bring your e-bike to Mac and I. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I didn't know, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Wow. How about that? Mm -hmm. uh, today's show is uh, being brought to you by Vermeulen's Home Furnishings, and Vermeulen's has a showroom full of beautiful furniture. 
for inside and outside, yes, patio season. And Vermeulen's has more patio furniture than anyone else in Jackson. And they have the highest quality uh, furniture that you can leave out all summer day and night, which I think they is do. a big I attraction. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wonderful. Yep. I saw uh, Nate Vermeulen the other night, and uh, believe it or not, we're getting the band back together, and uh, old coach Vermeulen and I are coaching again this weekend. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think Nate Vermeulen is actually on vacation this week. No. No? No, we have a busy week. We have uh -huh. a very busy week. We've got the kids at camp. Uh, uh, we've been at Spring Arbor Camp all week. That's been fun. And uh, mm -hmm. it's, uh, they, they invite the parents and grandparents to come watch the kids. They play, play games the last few hours. So a lot of parents and grandparents have been out there this week. Right. Well, we have a packed show today. Uh, who's on it? We're going to get things started with Brian Rich from Consumers Energy on the other side of this break. The Pick Center is an independent practice that has provided care to the Jackson area for over 25 years. Doctors O'Neill and CAC supervise antibiotic infusions, as well as those for many other conditions, such as inflammatory bowel, joint and lung disease, anemia, and multiple sclerosis. Our modern facility is open seven days a week, and the infusion staff will make you feel right at home. Let your doctor know you have a choice where you receive your next infusion. Remember, when you've picked us, you've picked the best. Home is where the heart is, inside and outside. Increase the comfort of your deck or patio with a retractable awning. From Addison Awning in Jackson, the touch of a button turns bright sun into soothing shade and reduces energy costs. Addison Awning is proud to be one of Michigan's largest awning shops with hundreds of fabrics and styles to choose from. Last year's demand created wait times, so order now and be ready for summer. Call Addison Awning in Jackson at 782-8473. That's Addison Awning, 782-8473. If you're looking for a high quality, affordable alternative to the emergency room, then come to IEP Urgent Care's new location in Jackson. It's the same great ER physicians who have been providing care through our local hospitals since 2008, but now with a new location to serve you better. Our ER trained providers believe high quality care is for everyone, so we work with all insurances, including Medicaid and Medicare. Come see us on East Michigan Ave. Welcome back to the morning show on JTV. It's time for the annual Old School Gospel Fest, and it's happening July 16th at 4.30. Special guests include the original Faith Temple Band. Come enjoy music of Jackson's legendary gospel vocalists and musicians, July 16th. Andy's Place is uh, having a car wash. They've been having car wash fundraisers, and this is gonna support a camping trip for the residents of Andes. I went to that last time and they do a really thorough job. Yeah, so yeah. Um, the next one is July 29th and it's $20 per car and uh, you'll get a really, really good car wash and uh, support a great cause. So check it out, mark your calendar. Our first guest today from Consumers Energy, Senior Vice President and Chief Customer Officer, Brian Rich. Morning, Bart. Good morning, morning, Andy. Good morning. How are Good you? To be with, I'm, I think this is my second time on the morning show now. 
Uh, well, we're not keeping track. I am. I'm keeping track. <laughs> I am definitely I am. keeping track. <laughs> Uh, busy night last night. Uh, I know we had some big storms oh, yeah. move through in Central Michigan, but that's and I think that's every summer and all this global warming is making storms more unpredictable. So unpredictable. Yep. Worse. Mm -hmm. And but you guys, uh, you're tired of the lines coming down. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> as, are, as are our customers. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you know, I mean, you're, you you hit it. I mean, we used to have. Uh, when I first started with the company, a storm season. Mm -hmm. But there is no storm season anymore. We're getting yeah. these types of events all the time. Um, and I think we all have very easy memories to February when it was just catastrophic. Right. Um, and those types of storms in the winter when it's 32, 33 degrees and the ice comes, and those are long restorations because mm -hmm. they bring down wires. There's a lot of wired downs and a lot of securing trees that we have to go secure. So ultimately, um, it makes the case to bury power lines much more compelling. And um, we're announcing that we're starting a pilot and we're gonna pretty aggressively go start to bury power lines over the, next, mm -hmm. over the time horizon. Yeah, the, uh, the chatter, of course, I think from everyone uh, after those February, or the storms back to back was, why aren't the power lines buried? It's not, uh, it's not a simple project, is it? It's not. Um, now, first of all, they're right. I mean, like, if you compare us to other Midwest utilities, which we tend to do, consumers' energy has a lower amount of buried power lines. Mm -hmm. So I think that from a benchmark perspective, it's clear that we need to. But to your point, Andy, it's not a silver bullet. You have to, we have engineers that look at every single line on our system and say, what's the best thing to do to make it both reliable and resilient mm -hmm. for futures? Clearly in urban areas, I mean, walk down Michigan Avenue, the built lines are buried in right. Flint mm -hmm. and Grand Rapids. We have a lot of buried power lines. But as you start getting out um, into people's homes areas, there's opportunity to do more. Mm -hmm. Um, so our target is to do about 400 miles a year oh, wow. um, and start to ramp up the programs. And um, to your point, Andy, we got to get new materials and, right. and start to, um, but years ago we would have convinced ourselves that it's too expensive to do, but there's new technologies in drilling um, that make it much more affordable and, mm -hmm. and effective. That's a long, long, long-term approach, really. For sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, there is, uh, you have to weigh the cost. Uh, there certainly is a cost of putting new poles and lines up. Yep. But the cost of bearing, uh, it's a much greater cost. It's a much greater sure. cost, yeah. So we are, um, but but a, a return uh, where our engineers see fit. So we're excited about this, and I think customers are, um, when customers see lines get buried, they they can yeah. equate to the fact that it's going to be better for them. We talk about reliability, which is you know the wind blows and the system goes down, but resiliency is something we're thinking about a lot more. As you mm -hmm. think, of, look across the country now. Vermont's got flooding. That's your home state, right. isn't it? Yeah. Um, I mean, all across the country, we're seeing these types of events, and the system doesn't just have to be more reliable for what we know today, but resilient against mm -hmm. the future. And yeah. bearing power lines is clearly a great method. Absolutely. Yeah, it's some of it is really it's unforeseen. Mm -hmm. the, the things like in California, the the, the home sliding into a ravine. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We we look across the country and we think you know we have it pretty good here, which I think we do as far as a lot of. Uh, national uh, weather or land disasters, for sure. We believe that, except for those Canadian fires. But we are standing on yes, a rock here, true. I think. Um, I mean, I saw in Florida yesterday, the, the ocean waters are like 90, high 90 degrees, tub, which is- Hot tub, tub water. Yeah. <coughs> so yeah, lots changing, and we gotta make our system more resilient for our customers. Uh, yeah. This day and age, uh, scammers all around the world yeah. is uh, a mm -hmm. full-time enterprise for, for these folks, and they're getting good. And there's new, new scams that you're helping uh, protect customers from. Yeah, um, and we saw something uh, about a month ago. Um, an entity effectively was changing, like if you search on Google, say Consumers Energy New Service, uh, they were engineering it so that they were the first return. Wow. And they would collect all of your personal information oh. and then um, call consumers on your behalf. Um, but they were charging customers money for the service. Customers thought they were working with Consumers Energy charging customers for the service, and then of course capturing their social security number and mm -hmm. all other types of information that you need to be able to set up an account with us. We went to the authorities, we saw that this was happening nationally, um, that other utilities and other companies like Comcast were experiencing this, um, and we've put measures into place to stop it, but the best thing we can do is make sure customers are aware that mm -hmm. make sure you're talking to us if you're collecting, especially if you're collecting information, we don't charge any kind of fee for that type of service. Mm -hmm. Um, but unfortunately, customers uh, fell victim to it. And now I heard about uh, AI is being used in scamming where people are able to create a voice yes. mm -hmm. so they can make a phone call to your mom and say, Mom, uh, I, I'm filling out some forms. I need your uh, driver's license number real quick. 
and it sounds every bit yeah, it's like spooky. the person and it it's, is really it's, it's really spooky yeah. especially for somebody like yourself who's a public figure and your your voice has been out there mm -hmm. um, apparently it's easier to, even easier to engineer yeah. so I know that when I get a call from you Bart I'm yeah. uh, hang on well we actually <laughs> use AI to I make phone calls for, from Bart all the time here, <laughs> so it's actually fun well here's the thing I don't call people <laughs> <laughs> that makes it easier uh. But yeah, the best thing customers can do is just um, be on alert, um, make sure you're talking to Consumers Energy, and if any doubt, hang up and call us. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're confused or you're not sure, it doesn't sound right, it's okay to hang up and, That's right. and call, call and consumers. Mm -hmm. uh, we were talking about electric bikes uh, being confiscated on Mackinac yeah. Island, and we we're talking to uh, folks that are on two wheels. They're actually selling more yeah. electric bikes than um, regular bikes now. Okay. as a percentage and we're seeing more and more electric uh, cars yes I, I understand you have one I do have one um, and I understand that you, if you think about the the adoption curve I may be considered myself an early adopter mm -hmm. I understand you may be a little bit more at the end of that that very, adoption very curve. End of it. I think yeah. that'd be a very fair <laughs> state <laughs> but here's the thing and this is important for I speak to a lot of customers that say I'm not ready for it or I don't think yeah. I ever would ever want one that's okay because electric vehicles lower rates for all customers. I mean, think about mm -hmm. it, the, the grid that we have to build is a fixed cost. And if there's more electrons being consumed on our system, it lowers prices. So mm -hmm. whether I have an electric vehicle and you don't, both of our bills go down from consumer's energy by just getting more throughput on our system and being able to mm -hmm. spread our fixed cost. So yeah. it's really, um, that should make you a fan of electric vehicles. I think so, that should. I uh, feel that the first time I'm going to get the right it, one hasn't been made yet for you. <laughs> That's all it is. It's going to happen. I'm going to rent a car, and it's, they're going to give me an electric car whether I want it or not. And because they're buying to. the uh, rental yes. cars. Are, companies are buying up yes. electric cars. Yeah. And did I hear Bart that you are going to be going potentially for an electric vehicle ride with Garrick Rochelle? Yes. 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 And true. there's a new uh, F-150 Lightning. That yes. is. That is true. Yeah. I park next to him at the at the office, and we both charge. And I think his his truck consumes all the electrons. I'm not sure. I get it. <laughs> You're gonna love it. You guys are uh, making an effort to install these EV chargers yep. ac across the state, and that's one thing people think. Well, if I buy my buy my vehicle, I know I'll be able to install something at home. But what about uh, when I'm out on the roads? Yeah, I think that's an important part. We are we did um, homes and, and workplace charging is really important, but mm -hmm. this kind of what range anxiety. Michigan State did a study to say where are the strategic parts in Michigan where these kind of fast mm -hmm. chargers need to be, and we've effectively been following their lead and just incenting those chargers to get stood up. And then this week we announced something even more exciting, which is um, about a third of our customers live in apartments or condos, and that's a little bit more complex than somebody like me who charges in my garage in a single mm -hmm. family home mm -hmm. about how do you get that right. infrastructure in place. So we're starting to really incent getting those v these chargers deployed um, in what we call multi-dwelling units or apartments, condos. Okay. Um, and that's a big unlock because the total cost of ownership for these vehicles is actually cheaper. I mean, it's interesting. My daughter is a new driver, and she and I just went for an oil change. And on the way to the oil change, she had to go get filled gas. That was a $200 trip to fill up her car with gas and to do an oil change. Um, I don't have any of those expenses. Mm -hmm. So uh, the more you can actually bring down the cost and put this infrastructure, all customers can participate in this yeah. if they want it. Yeah. So the concern is the uh, person is going to be driving along and it's going to go to E and they got to find a, a charger mm -hmm. and then they range go, anxiety and range it anxiety. has to be the right charger because there's different chargers for different uh, vehicles right yes so is the industry moving toward universal chargers yeah it appears the Tesla is going to emerge here so I think you saw some pretty loud announcements with um, both Ford and GM that in 2024 they're going to be moving to the Tesla network and then I think Volvo and Rivian and potentially Mercedes recently announced the same thing so it appears that here in the US that the Tesla standard is going to be the standard okay. which is great because they got a head start their right. charging infrastructure is everywhere and you know that thought about kind of am I going to run out am I going to go to empty one thing to remember is so I have a charger in my in my house imagine you had a gas tank in your house every day mm -hmm. I start with my tank on full mm -hmm. so it's when I drive to work and back it's not a problem when I go on a long trip um, it's inserted into my trip uh, mm -hmm. that I know where to stop and for yeah. how long mm -hmm. yeah it'll pop up somewhere You'll yes have, yeah. And how long does it take to charge? Well, it depends. Uh, the, these fast chargers, you could fill up in about 25 minutes, which oh. isn't really much different than um, a gas station visit, especially if you're going to go in for a pop or, right. you know, mm -hmm. a bio break. So a bathroom break. Yeah. 
Now at home, <laughs> at home <laughs> I have yeah. um, what's called an, an overnight charger, which is what we're doing at a lot of these multi-dwelling units or um, apartment buildings. I don't need that type of charging. I need to mm -hmm. be able to put, come home from work and have it ready in the morning, so that's yeah. a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. And we're continuing toward clean energy. This is, this is what is going to power these charging stations. Uh, all clean energy. All clean energy. That's the plan. So we, you know, consumers' energy is going to be net zero carbon emissions by 2040. But every day we're getting closer and closer to that. We're closing our coal plants. So we've we've just closed another one. We'll have them all closed by 2025. So if you have one of these vehicles, you are increasingly um, fueling it with non-carbon uh, fuel, which mm -hmm. is exciting. I think Brian, myself, and you will 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 go by your car for you. Yes. We'll go with you. <laughs> we'll do all the talking. Actually, let's leave him at home. You and I will <laughs> you, do We'll it. get it. Bring <laughs> yes, it back. Yeah. Exactly. Just bring. give us your checkbook. and. That's right. Okay, yeah. That's right. Yeah. We'll get you a nice as lease as deal. Or something. As long as you do all the talking. That's, that's fine. fine. Yeah. yeah. What are, what's going on in uh, like the southwest Phoenix? 115? Uh, yeah, Texas. Yeah. Just what crazy. kind of a, a load is that on uh, the power grid out there? Yeah, I mean, I, I've been following Texas a little bit more, which mm -hmm. is having a similar heat, and they definitely have had a lot of um, a lot of strain on their grid. Um, frankly, I think it's their renewables that are actually keeping them afloat right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, their solar and their wind is, is actually right. really mm -hmm. effective. But they're making appeals to customers to curtail. I mean, they just hadn't contemplated and stress tested this type of, mm -hmm. not just extreme heat, but if you have extreme heat for months or weeks at a time, right. you, your house is not cooling down at night, and it becomes this compounding effect, and there's a lot of stress on that grid. So the nice thing about Michigan is because we're a peninsula state, we put our grid through these resiliency tests mm -hmm. all the time mm -hmm. to make sure that we can withstand the extremes of extremes, and we feel really confident about it. You know, El Paso, uh, record triple digits, and you know, it does cool down to about 89 <laughs> at night. So yeah, you just don't think about that. It's, you know what I always think about is their children, like our kids, this, the weather in Michigan in the winter is not all that great. But in the summer, when the weather's beautiful, our right. kids are out of school. Their kids are out of school in 115 degree heat. That yeah. doesn't sound like a lot of fun. Especially, and it's, it's that weather at eight in the morning. It's, I know. It's not, yes. it's not a, uh, That's right. Yeah, it's a full day. So, so yeah, we we're are. We're with Michigan here. I like it. I'm convinced this is going to be a very attracting state. I believe it that. is mm -hmm. already, in yeah. my opinion. They say the air conditioner migrated people south, and now some of these extreme weather events may start migrating people north. Yeah. Well, we appreciate uh, all that you guys uh, do, and we appreciate you coming in today. Thank you both. Thanks, Brian. Always great to be here. Uh, Brian Rich uh, is Senior VP and Chief Customer Officer at Consumers Energy. More of the morning show after this. Our new Express Oil Changes and More building has been a huge success. Not only do we have the best oil change prices, we top off fluids and do a 33-point inspection, all while you enjoy fresh-baked cookies, coffee, and popcorn in our new lounge. This month is our Jeep Freedom Day sales event with special pricing on all new Jeeps. Stop out to Extreme Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Jackson, just off I-94, exit 141, or online at ExtremeDodge.com. From July 31st to August 11th, the Frank Center Youth Theater in Marshall will offer a theater discovery camp for kids entering grades K through 5. Each day of this hands-on learning camp will focus on a different aspect of theater and will allow students to create a take-home project. Many sessions will also feature a special teaching guest. Students may sign up for all 10 sessions for $150. Individual sessions are $20 each when purchased ahead of time. Day of drop-ins are $25. Sign up and information are available at thefrank.org or by calling the box office at 269-781-0001. The Frank Center for the Arts Programming is supported in part by the funding from the Michigan Arts and Culture Council and the National Endowment for the Arts. 
Miller Shoes in downtown Jackson has been providing fit and comfort for over 84 years. Are you feeling the love from your running shoes? Try New Balance Total Fit, where 88 points of fit combine to embrace every angle of your foot for a sensation of pure anatomical pleasure. And let running feel the love. Our shoes, like your feet, come in a wide variety of widths and sizes, from the very narrow to the very, very wide, from the long to the short. Shop downtown Jackson at Miller Shoes, where our family has been serving yours for over 50 years. At Runway Party Store, you'll find all of your everyday convenience items, smiling faces to help you find what you need, and daily specials fit for any meal. Visit us today and check out our newly remodeled location on Michigan Avenue, just south of the Jackson Airport. It's a celebration! The 40th anniversary of Jackson's Hot Air Jubilee. This year, a full week of ballooning as Jackson hosts the Women's National Balloon Championship July 17th through the 21st, leading up to the Hot Air Jubilee presented by Trips Auto and Collision July 21st to the 23rd at Ella Sharp Park. Hot air balloons will fill the skies during the weekend with launches scheduled for Friday evening, Saturday morning and evening, and Sunday morning, weather permitting, with fantastic night glows in the evenings. Other activities include helicopter rides, various vendors, car show, Jeep night, Kids Kingdom, free bounce house, an inflatable obstacle course, and there will be food trucks and a beer tent. Visit hotairjubilee.com for more information. The Cascades Rotary Community Band Shell has performances going on, presented by Alro Steel. They are the entertainment sponsor celebrating 75 years, July 15th, Frog and the Beep Tones. So uh, check it out. Concert starts at 7, and it is free. Did you know uh, Alro Steel had uh, Jim Harbaugh and Jack Harbaugh in town on Monday? I did. Did I you did. see him? Mm -mm. Just heard about it. Just yes. heard about it. Show today is also brought to you by Just As Nice Resale Shop. If you're on a budget, this store is for you. New items added daily. Small business with a big heart located at 1931 Horton Road, Suite 9 in Jackson, right behind Crimson Oak and next to the ABC Bakery. Joining us now from the Jackson County Health Department, we have WIC coordinator Chelsea Shans and breastfeeding peer counselor Sam White. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Thanks. Yeah. Chelsea, welcome back to the show. And Thank Sam, you. this is your first time. Yes, it is. Well, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So first, uh, your t job title, breastfeeding peer counselor. What is that? Yeah, so our job is essentially just to support those moms that come to our program and are breastfeeding or pregnant. And we do that a few different ways. So one of them is just reaching out to them throughout their pregnancy and during their breastfeeding journey just to support them um, being listening ear. We also provide um, breastfeeding classes, um, breastfeeding pumps, as well as supplies like that. So that's pretty much what we do. And it's not... Uh it's not the same for all women. Some some have an easy time and yes. some it's an absolute nightmare. Yes. I feel like there is this um, thing where people think, oh, breastfeeding's beautiful, it's natural, um, when in reality that's not how it is for most moms. There's a lot of um, trials that yeah. comes along with it and we're kind of there just to listen and support them through that yeah. and give them some good information. So. Yeah, and especially when we have uh, things like the infant uh, formula shortage during yeah. the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Uh, becomes more of a concern. Yes. It's not a plan B for a lot of moms. Yes, I do think that um, that brought a light to breastfeeding mm -hmm. for sure that wasn't there before. So yeah. as unfortunate as it was, it definitely did yeah. um, bring a light to breastfeeding. And you guys uh, support the community so much. And during fair week, you guys will have a uh, private area. Yes, we room. will. Yep, That's it'll cool. have snacks there and water and just be a nice private place for moms to use. Yeah. It's uh, farm season. Uh, have you been to any of the farmers uh, markets? There's a couple today, Green Market today. Very nice. Mm -hmm. One in Brooklyn. Uh, but we're going to start to see more fresh fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. as yep. the, uh, the harvest uh, cleans the fields and trees. So that's an opportunity for families to get some fresh, fresh fruit. And you are encouraging that. Yes, definitely. During the summertime with WIC, we have a program called Project Fresh. It's a farmer's market nutrition program, and we get paper coupon booklets to give to our families. 
um, those booklets are each worth $30. Um, we do try to prioritize our pregnant moms and our breastfeeding moms um, when we're giving out those booklets. And we are hosting event two events coming up, so July 26th and August 1st. And we've um, partnered with some other um, community programs and organizations, um, and we'll distribute our booklets at our health department. And this will benefit local families? Mm -hmm. It'll benefit our local families. They'll get more fresh produce um, and locally grown produce, um, but it'll also benefit the farmers because those booklets being worth $30 each, it'll be over $8,000. Mm -hmm. What do you recommend um, shoppers look for at farmers markets or uh, grocery stores? I sometimes am always drawn to the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the farm, I too, at <laughs> farmers markets, um, love to look at the pastries in the bakery, you know, like those items yeah. too. But yes, look more for fruits and vegetables. Um, that's what with the coupon booklets, they can yeah. only purchase Michigan grown fruits and vegetables at the markets. They can also use them at roadside stands. But really when looking, um, look for brightly colored fruits and vegetables. We know those are always nutrient dense. Um, and that's a fun way to get your children involved as well. Um, you know, small children love to look at colors and, you know, kind of pick new things. And we know that if kids uh, help pick out new food items that they're mm -hmm. more willing to try them. I think we've all, uh, you know, bought up a bunch of fresh produce at a place like that, mm -hmm. and then a week later, it's uh, <laughs> it's in, it's got to be thrown out. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But what are you what are you doing to uh, help families uh, know how to use the the fresh produce? Sure. So because Project Fresh is a nutrition program as well, we give these booklets to buy the fresh produce, but we also try to include an education component. Um, so we do try to give information on maybe um, canning or freezing to make that produce last longer. Sam, it's uh, National Breastfeeding Month in August, um, and there's a theme. What is the theme this yes. year? Yes, so the theme is this is why. Um, so. The way we're highlighting that is just kind of talking about why we do what we do and why our job is important. Um, and yeah, just our job is important because those moms need support. A lot of the time it's not there. Um, and like we just talked about the shortage, you never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So just supporting those moms throughout that process and yeah. offering those things like the classes and the um, pumps and the pump parts. Um, is really just very important, yeah, especially awesome. for those moms who might not have their family supporting and right. they might not have seen that before. So Some of the things you're talking about, quite expensive. Yes, they are, so we help out with that a lot. So if people eat healthier, fresher mm -hmm. food, is yeah. that a benefit for breastfeeding moms? Yes, it Absolutely. definitely is. You do need the nutrients and calories when you're breastfeeding, um, so that does affect it quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to uh, corn and then tomato uh, mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. I don't think I don't think it's corn yet. I, don't I think, think soon, a couple yeah. weeks. I've yeah. heard. Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah. And then I think tomatoes probably around the same mm -hmm. time, maybe a yeah. little later. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But there's plenty of stuff out there right oh, now. Oh yeah, there's mm -hmm. so many things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, farmers markets every week. Yeah. You see more and more. How, uh, if someone is interested, maybe they are qualified, but they've never participated in WIC, what, mm -hmm. how do they find out uh, if they're eligible? Um, they can call us at our WIC okay. clinic. Um, we can discuss eligibility over the phone okay. um, and get it, hopefully get them on. Yeah. Cool. And WIC stands for? Women, Infants, and Children. Uh, the uh, coupons, the uh, Project Fresh. Mm -hmm. People actually using them? Are you, do you have evidence that there's uh, acceptance? We do have a pretty good redemption rate. Yes. That's great. Yep. Nice. Yep. And the farmers markets, uh, you're setting them up so that they are easily accepted. Yes, they can get approved through the state WIC office okay. to, right. to accept you, those coupons. You mentioned roadside stands. Now, mm -hmm. um, is, those folks, do, you know, if someone has a roadside stand, they just con they same thing, apply. contact yep. and apply? Yep, and we'll have a list for our families when they get their oh, nice. booklets of where they can use them. Very yep. good. Yep. Nice. Well, thanks for uh, all that you're doing to keep our uh, community healthy yeah. and safe. And thanks for coming in today. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you both. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll look for you at the fair. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be there. Uh, Chelsea Shantz is WIC coordinator and Sam White breastfeeding peer counselor at the uh, Jackson County Health Department. More to come on The Morning Show. Stay tuned.
At Consumers Energy, we believe change is imagining. Change is big, small, clean. Him, them, us, you. Together, we can bring clean energy to Michigan and protect the environment for generations to come. Learn about your clean energy choices and how you can become a force of change. Consumersenergy.com slash change. Family owned and operated make professional tree care your choice when it comes to your property. Our certified arborists will examine your landscape and handle all your trimming and maintenance needs. From tree removal to tree trimming and stump grinding to lock clearing, PTC gets the job done. Professional tree care is proud to serve members of the Jackson community using cutting edge equipment and your satisfaction is our guarantee. Visit us online at ptcjackson.com or call 517-499-2820. The secret is out. Jackson is a great place to live, work, and raise a family. We are people with community pride, school spirit, and deep roots. The secret is out. Jackson has great parks, home to some of the best golf in the country, and boasts more lakes than you can count. With unique, locally owned shops and restaurants, we have a little something for everyone. Hey Jackson, the secret is out. The Heather Herndon team with Howard Hanna Real Estate Services, serving the Jackson community since 2005. At Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More, we know how important family is. That's why we've been a family-owned and operated business since 2009. As an authorized Daikin dealer, we're dedicated to providing the best heating and cooling services for your family's comfort. So, don't sweat the heat or shiver in the cold. Let our family keep yours cozy all year long. Looking for a new hangout? Town Bar in downtown Jackson is Jackson's oldest bar and has food and drink specials every day of the week. Whether you're looking for a quick cocktail or a bite to eat for lunch, Town Bar is the perfect spot. Join us for daily happy hour specials and make sure to check out our popular karaoke night every Monday starting at 9 p.m. Find us on Facebook at Town Bar Jackson for more information and upcoming events. The Gus Macker Jackson 3-on-3 Basketball Tournament will fill the streets of downtown Jackson on July 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Don't miss out on all the fun and competition. You'll want to see it all with specials like a slam dunk contest, mascot game, heroes tournament, and even a dream team tournament for adults with disabilities. New this year is Music on Michigan, Friday and Saturday in a cornhole tournament on Saturday, July 23rd at Grand River Brewery at 5 p.m. Visit the Gus Macker Jackson Facebook page now and during the tournament weekend. Today's show is brought to you by Sylvia's Catering. You can catch Sylvia's on Food Circus uh, right now. Contact Sylvia's 517-745-4512 to schedule your complimentary wedding tasting, corporate lunch, or social gathering. And again, check them out on Food Circus, which is online right now on JTV.TV. Remember last month, we were going to uh, have the outdoor movie at Horace Blackman Park, Jaws, and then the smoke. We have too much smoke from Canada. Well, this Friday it's been rescheduled, so come on downtown to Horace Blackman Park for a free screening of Jaws, 9 p.m., presented by the Michigan Theater. We've got two uh, Jacksonians that were winners of a Stanley Cup. Wow. Uh, so we're going to get to meet John and Pat Mano from the Las Vegas Golden Knights right now. Welcome back to the morning show. Joining us now from Las Vegas, 2023 Stanley Cup champions, Las Vegas Golden Knights own Patrick Mano and John Mano, Jackson natives. Good morning. Doing good morning. Hey, good morning. Hey, you guys look good with those uh, Stanley Cup finals uh, shirts on. Congratulations. How's the... Uh, How's the after uh, party been uh, after the Stanley Cup? We saw a lot of parade video. What's it like uh, on the streets in Vegas with this championship? Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. I mean, everywhere 
Before you go, people, if you were in anything in Bay School, I'd say, say congratulations. And, uh, just say it was, a, it was a long week of, of fun times after the, after the Stanley Cup game. So. Yeah, it was, uh, it was crazy. Uh, I credit my family and my kids uh, making the recovery a little bit less for me. They kept me, they kept me tame during the, uh, the parties and the after party and everything. But uh, it, it's wild, still wild, hasn't sunk in yet. Uh, maybe, when, uh, maybe when we see our name on the cup, that's <laughs> when it gets sink in. How was it that two uh, twin brothers from Jackson, Michigan, ended up in Las Vegas uh, working for the Golden Knights? Uh, it's, a, it's a long story. Uh, I'd say it started with me. Uh, went back to school at Western Michigan a little bit late. Uh, after taking some time off of school, landed with the uh, equipment manager there at Western Michigan um, as a student manager. Was there for a couple of years, uh, left to go be with my now wife out in California. Um, after I graduated, got a call from Andy Murray, the head coach, uh, Western Michigan, uh, asking me to come back and be the head guy. Um, so I moved back to Michigan, took the job for a year, um, and then kind of paved my path, was trying to get out west because my uh, girlfriend at the time, my now wife, was from San Diego. Ended up landing with the LA Kings organization for two years. That's where I met uh, my boss now here in Vegas. And when he got the head job here, he, he asked me to come on board as an assistant. And then uh, a couple years down the road, we were able to hire a, a fourth guy. Uh, a guy to do the truck job for me, and Johnny was in the right place at the right time. Had just gotten some experience, and uh, everything worked out. We we got him, brought him on, and he's been doing a great job ever since. Wow, uh, I heard uh, girlfriend in San Diego, wife in Las Vegas. I think there might be a better story there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you guys, it, what? It, it's the same, same beautiful lady. Uh, it's my wife, Danielle. Sounds like my speech at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, uh, it, it was crazy. Not only uh, are you guys uh, trying to win the Stanley Cup, but uh, uh, Pat, you, your, your family's trying to get uh, kids to the arena. Talk a little bit about the kind of the whirlwind that was the, uh, the Stanley Cup final victory. Oh, uh, man, it was crazy. And uh, my wife is an absolute saint. Uh, I can't believe she did it. But uh, my daughter had her dance recital at the same exact time as uh, the start of game five. Um, I was lucky enough to actually sneak out during the first period and go watch her dance. Um, not, a lot of, not a lot of people know that, uh, but uh, made it back uh, to the rink and Olivia was finishing up her dance recital. Uh, Danielle, had the other two kids in in the uh, stands at the recital, ready to go as soon as her dance was done. She ran downstairs, uh, grabbed Olivia. She was still in her recital uh, outfit for the whole celebration. Um, she jumped in the car, drove as fast as she could down the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, I was actually had my phone on uh, during the third period so she could hear what was going on because uh, the radio was delayed. And she's worried she wasn't going to make it. And then uh, going to score a hat trick with Bob yeah. some more time. So, <laughs> yeah. So I'm on the phone, and Stony buries the empty netter to get the hat trick. <laughs> Come raining down, and I'm on the I'm yelling to her on the phone because it's just sitting right next to me. He's like, "You got time. You got time. You're going to make it. Just take your time. You're going to make it." Um, At this point, we're on the literally on the bench, like in there. That's amazing. Yeah. Who, who would know all that's going on on the, on the bench of the uh, Stanley Cup uh, champions? Now, uh, yeah. let me, John, let me ask you, the photo of the, the team photo, it, you're close enough. It looks like you played on the team in the game. Uh, <laughs> how, did, how did you get, uh, you, both of you guys? I, I don't know. I, I wonder, <laughs> wonder how many days, and I think I had a friend say they watched the replay, and I think we were sitting there talking to Stoney, and standing right by there and he's just like hey let's get him for the picture and i was just standing right there so i knelt down next to him and you can see i'm actually like leaning on his shoulder because number three Brady mcnab's literally like leaning on me 
um, it's it's pretty pretty funny how I got into that photo. Your but, face is the closest of anyone to the cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not, pretty cool. not at all. Like, I'm gonna get chirped for that yeah. one. Yeah. Hey, like I said, he got the job for being in the right place at the right yeah. time. So. Now, which one of you guys predicted that you would work together and win a Stanley Cup? So one of you guys predicted this. Uh, well, Johnny always wanted to get into the get into the game, and you know, it's a uh, it's a small world, the equipment manager world, and you know, you got to be careful because you don't want to disrupt any higher you know, the hierarchy of people who have put in their time and, and uh, you know, made a good reputation for themselves. So you don't want to give somebody an opportunity that somebody else deserves, but it also, like I said, it's a matter of being in the right place at the right time. I had a dream, you know, of once I got to the NHL, of getting Johnny up there with me and um, things happened, things worked out. Uh, made the right decisions, put him in the right spot to be uh, to be able to take over the job uh, once I was promoted and everything worked out. So I, I'd say we both had the dream, but... Uh, I think Pat was the one that predicted that. I think yeah, my, our brother Eric says years ago, uh, it might have been year one or year two of Vegas when Pat was here, he, I think Eric was busy and Pat just said, we're going to win the cup and Johnny's going to be here with me. So. Yeah, uh, the pictures are amazing, guys. And uh, is the yeah. rest of your family uh, just kind of in awe of uh, what you guys were able to accomplish? Yeah, for sure. I mean, the support from all of our brothers. And my parents are here visiting this week right now, which is nice. So uh, it kind of it's kind of hitting now. And when, when they're here, we get to talk to them. And they tell stories about playing hockey growing up and everything. And that's like, crazy that we're Stanley Cup champions. Yeah, it is crazy. It's, Lots uh, of opportunities. It's tr I think it's traditional that uh, team members get to take the Stanley Cup home uh, for at least a day. Are you guys going to be able to uh, maybe get that, maybe even br bring it back to Jackson? Uh, I'd love to, uh, but to be honest with you, it's it's been a crazy year. We had our my son, uh, second son, third child was born uh, during the Dallas series. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> and so I actually missed four games because I was in the hospital with, with my wife and my son Mason. And uh, so we're just going to kind of take it easy this summer, um, try to adjust to life with three kids at home. And uh, so we're just going to, we're just going to spend the day with the cup here in, uh, in Las Vegas. Um, Unfortunately, at my time, it's coming closer to uh, the start of a training camp, and my daughter is starting her first year of school this year. Oh, very so nice. a lot of a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. yeah, we we don't we won't get it. We'll get it towards the end. So it'll be I'm assuming closer to closer to training camp, or maybe even after training camp starts. So it's just going to be hard for us to to get back to to Jackson. Yeah. Like that. What's the uh, what's the coolest part of your job, and maybe what's the hardest part that people would never know what you guys do? I'd say the hardest part is balance with the family. Uh, you know, Johnny doesn't have that <laughs> guy. But... Balancing, balancing, working golf, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, for me, just balancing, trying to help out enough at home, uh, trying to be on call at all times when our guys need something. Um, you know, the hours are crazy. We get home at like three, four in the morning sometimes, and I'm up at 5.30 with the kids, you know, getting them ready for school, uh, so, or for daycare. So it's, uh, balance is the hardest part. Uh, I like going on the road at this point that is the best part, because I get to uh, be alone and get some sleep. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Hardest part, not really. I mean, there's it's all it's a hard job, but it's all so enjoyable. But I mean, the hours that sometimes that that I have to work with with doing the truck and stuff when teams come in and loading them in and doing their laundry and stuff, it's can be lots of lots of nights I spent at the rink. Um, but I mean, the most enjoyable is just being around the game and getting to meet all the cool people we get to meet. Working with my twin brother, it's our dream. 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's Spot. pretty cool. Uh, two uh, brothers from Jackson uh, working on uh, the best hockey team, working for the best hockey team in the world. So it uh, doesn't yeah. get any better than that. No, not at all. So. Yeah, and historic, too. Uh, most goals ever scored in a Stanley Cup Finals game. Youngest ever NHL franchise to win the Stanley Cup and the first ever major mm -hmm. sports championship for the city of Las Vegas. So you guys, you're... Uh, you're uh, Exploits are historic. It's pretty yeah, cool. I, I, I do have to say, I know they don't get the credit, the WNBA, the Las Just Vegas the Aces, they won, they won the, the national championship That's for the nice. WNBA last year. So we're actually the second championship in Las Vegas, but uh, uh, I want to give them their credit yeah. as well. Well, guys, uh, we're, we're very proud of you back here in uh, Jackson, and uh, congratulations. We appreciate you uh you taking the time to join us this morning yeah thanks guys uh really appreciate it uh proud to be from jackson proud of where we came from um and hopefully we win another one and then we can plan the cup party back there yeah let's do it johnny and pat mayno stanley <laughs> cup champions from the las vegas golden knights more of the morning show right after this quick break With all my other bills, what am I going to do when something else breaks down? My stove? My furnace? My plumbing? America's preferred home warranty is here for you. When a major home system or appliance fails, our award-winning customer service can help you protect your investment and your wallet. Call APHW now. Mowers Sunshine Car Wash is proud to be a professional and fast service in the Jackson area. You can relax and let our friendly staff clean your vehicle to a shine. Open Monday through Saturday, 7.30 to 6.30, Sunday 9 to 5. Or use one of our many self-serve bays, great for all vehicles, car, truck, or bikes. Try our other locations. Brooklyn Auto Wash in Brooklyn. Center Wash on Page Ave. Keeping your vehicle clean for over 25 years. Mowers Sunshine Car Wash on Ann Arbor Road. Allergy centers can help you breathe freely. Since 1980, our board certified specialists have provided testing and treatment for a wide variety of asthma and allergy related conditions, including immunodeficiencies and skin problems. No referrals are necessary, and we accept any insurance or no insurance. You can even use our mobile app to check in and pay. Come see us at our Jackson office or one of our multiple offices in Southwest Michigan. Hi, I'm Phil Tripp from Tripp's Collision Centers in Jackson, Lansing, and East Lansing. And I'm Barb Tripp, inviting you to join us at this year's Hot Air Jubilee at Ellersharp Park, July 21st to the 23rd. From the balloons to the car show, the kids' kingdom, and the food court, the Hot Air Jubilee is family fun from the start to the finish. Celebrating 40 years, we'll see you at the Jackson Hot Air Jubilee. Today's show is brought to you by Total Landscaping, Inc. And for over 26 years, Total Landscaping has been uh, providing the community with wonderful residential and commercial work for their lawn or business. Free estimates and fully insured awesome landscape services from Total Landscaping, Inc. 517-764-3626. Is uh, Patrick and Johnny Mano going to send us some shirts or something? I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to the uh, the boys. They didn't say anything. Um, we'll have to ask. Uh, I drove by. I rode my bike by the house those kids grew up in the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's still standing. Is it? Surprisingly. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, the that kids. Was... Cra uh, 
that's my memory of Patrick and Johnny. The yeah. just little. They're and they're doing the perfect job, right? Yeah. Uh, hockey guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's very cool. The uh, sculpture unveiling. The city of Jackson uh, was going to unveil the sculpture at the uh, MLK Quality Trail on Friday, but it's postponed for two weeks. Sculpture not ready. Okay. All right. So. It's, we'll a, uh, it's gonna be a big big weekend. Hope people can get out to the uh, Grass Lake Traffic Jam in. There'll be a car show, live music, and of course the 5K Friday night, uh, sponsored by ORS, JTV, m and and Fortress Cafe. Already 250 people registered. That's awesome. It's yeah. been a record turnout for the ORS race series uh, this year for the sure. Best year, best best year, year ever. ever. Yep. yep. Uh, who's uh, coming up tomorrow? Well, tomorrow is Friday. Oh, right. So, so I don't know. Well, we have uh, later today, we'll preview the Old School Gospel Fest that's happening Sunday with Alan Wade, John Willis, and Odie Trice. John Waldron and Bill George from Southern Michigan Bank with Kyle Lichty with Gus Macker. Darren Shaw from the Brokerage House, Josh Hampton and Michelle Cook from Hampton Funeral Homes, and Rick Walton, all later today. We'll see you then. Sylvia's Catering in Napoleon showcases